with some sort of a, you know, what we believe to be an edged weapon of some sort. Uh, early indications were that it could have been a machete or a, a hatchet of some fashion. Daniel Palmer was arrested today in charge with malicious wounding and attempted murder. All right, our Nick Mantis joins us now with a look at sports. And Nick, the Detroit Tigers have a big decision to make tonight. Yes, Shamir, the Tigers have the 12th pick in this year's Major League Baseball draft, which starts in just a couple minutes. We're going to hear from the Tigers' head of scouting and which way they're thinking about going with that pick. Plus, former Michigan State basketball star Nia Cloudon was in action with her Connecticut son today. We're going to check and see how she did when we come back. This is the Six Sports Desk. With the way the Detroit Tigers have been playing lately, having a head start into this week's All-Star break was a perfect way to end their series against the Cleveland Guardians. Today's game against the Guardians was postponed due to inclement weather within the Cleveland area, but as Michael Pineda's face tells you, it's probably a good thing they didn't play today. As for the ugliness of yesterday's outing, it all started early with big swings on one of the best hitters in the league. Jose Ramirez smacked two home runs in the first two innings to make it an 8-0 ball game. And when asked how to deal with Jose Ramirez moving forward, Tigers, Tigers manager A.J. Hinch knows you just got to work around him. Well, I mean, Vesta did a nice job of getting to the back foot slider, but um, yeah, he's one of the most elite players, fun player, energy, body language production. Um, that's why they signed him. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a problem when you're on the other side because of how good he is and, and he can handle both sides of the plate. So um, we've got to figure out getting the guys out in front of him. When we swept them last week, we got the guys out in front of him and, and left him no opportunity. So that'd be a good start. What's also a good start to the week is tonight's Major League Baseball draft. The Tigers have been able to snag some key players with their first picks in the last few years and who have already made an impact this season. In 2018, the Tigers got their first overall selection with right-hander Casey Mize. He's still coming back from that elbow injury. In 2019, Riley Green was the fifth overall pick for the Tigers. He's still finding his groove in center field and becoming an everyday starter. And in 2020, Spencer Torkel 
Torkelson was the overall first, draft, first pick in the draft for the Tigers. He's developing into one of the better defensive players and defensive first basemen. But where did the Tigers go from here? Now, what's been interesting with this year's scouting is the lack of healthy pitchers available due to multiple injuries. So if the Tigers don't select a pitcher, are they going to go with a hitter? Well, and is this hitter really a great slugger, or is he just not facing premier pitchers due to injuries? As we've seen, the Tigers have found some first-round draft picks that have made a significant impact right away. And the Detroit Tigers director of amateur scouting, Scott Pleiss, told us that just selecting a player who plugs the whole of the organization's needs is not the right strategy. It's very difficult to play that game where it all works out. So you, the best case scenario is just get the best guy you can get that's going to bring the best uh, impact to the organization for a long time. So uh, it all equal, you can you can look at it and say, yeah, this is probably a better move right here if it's a position guy or a pitcher. If it's if it's equal, but if it's there's a big difference. It's it's difficult to pass on a guy that could be potential impact. We'll have full coverage of the Tiger selection in the draft tonight on Sports Overtime. Earlier today, former Michigan State point guard Nia Clowden and her Connecticut son were taking on one of the best teams in the WNBA this afternoon in the Las Vegas Aces. Now, the showdown was seen on WLAJ, and Clowden was working things around at the point guard position. Unfortunately, it wasn't a great shooting performance from the Sun in this one. And the four minutes that Clowden got onto the floor only produced a personal foul and a turnover. As for the Aces, their point guard Chelsea Gray was making no-look passes. That'll make your head spin. Gray almost messed around and got a double-double with 21 points and 9 rebounds as the Aces would go on to win it 91-83, to the final. And in the final round of the 150th Open Championship, there was a remarkable performance from Australian golfer Cameron Smith that made everyone envy his ability to hit birdies. Smith went out into the back nine and had five straight birdies, eight on the day in total to shoot a final round of eight under 64. An amazing performance, and we're going to hear from Smith tonight on Sports Overtime. We'll also be right back with a final look at your forecast, so stay with us.
Well, coming up tonight on TV6 at 7, we'll have 60 Minutes. Primetime begins at 8 with Big Brother, followed by The Equalizer at 9. Then at 10, it's NCIS Los Angeles. And of course, stay tuned after that for 6 News at 11. We still have the potential for a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms for tonight. Overnight lows dropping down to nearly 66 degrees. Even though we increase our temperatures, it's still going to be fairly on the humid side over the course of the next couple of days. 91 degree high on Wednesday with isolated thunderstorms in the area. But we dry things out with highs in the mid to upper 80s just by the time we get into this weekend. Then a couple of more chances for rain as we get into next week. But all the weather aside, it is a very special day here at TV6. Yes, it is. It's my birthday. Yay! Yes, Happy a very, birthday. very special birthday. So, yes. how old? How old are we? 22. Ooh. Nice. Okay. 22. Yeah. I, knew you, I remember I was 22. <laughs> We're not going to remind anybody of that birthday. That was that was a very special birthday. What, any good plans yes. for your birthday today? I know you're here I'm working, here. but after I'm it, here for you. Is there, there a you like, that's great? Is there is there a <laughs> uh, a, the a, a dinner break home. special thing we're gonna we're gonna yes. be doing? Do you have any? Yes, I'll be getting together with my family, Aww. enjoying some time. So Aww. I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be nice. Absolutely. Is it tonight or later on? Uh, during the week. Okay, During good. The week. So then the weather will dry out by then is yes. the point I'm making then. Perfect. That'll be great weather for that. All right. Uh, well, yeah. thank you guys so much. Happy birthday. Yeah. You're very welcome. That's all for 6 News at 6. We'll see you here at 11.